Welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at setting up your terms and conditions for estimating. Terms and conditions is just a way of setting up wording for estimates so that you don't have to type long descriptions every time. So for instance, you may have like a blurb that talks about your payment schedule or penalties for late payments, or you may have things like plant warranty or hardscape warranty or any kinds of terms and conditions that you may want to include on your proposals or contracts you can set up ahead of time in LMN in the terms and conditions section. Then rather than typing these things out each and every time when you're building a proposal, you can simply drag and drop them in from your terms and conditions library, then tweak them for that estimate if necessary. Let's take a look at how to set those up now. You're gonna find the terms and conditions section in estimating under the estimate menu, right there, terms and conditions. So we'll just click that. For those of you getting started on a trial or taken LMN before, you'll see there's some samples already set up for you to give you a sense of how they work. I'll open one of those samples now. Talk about payment terms, for example. And if you want to create your own, just right up here, there's an add new. But we'll walk you through one that's done already. It's a little faster. So by opening up the payment terms, you can see first I've got a term and condition name. So if you're going to drag and drop this term and condition onto an estimate, we want to know what we're dragging and dropping. So the name should be roughly what it represents. In this case, it's payment terms. You can get rid of sample. You don't need that in there. We only put that in there so that you're perfectly clear that we wrote those terms and conditions and not you so that you can make sure you do your tweaks before you actually use them. Next up, you're going to pick what they're available for. So for instance, if I had something like a lawn mowing description, I'd turn that off for service estimates or for standard estimates because we only need that for service. But if you want it to show up or everything like we do maybe in payment terms, we're going to make sure all those are ticked. So whether they're available for standard or construction style estimates, whether they're available for service or maintenance style estimates, and whether they're available for customer descriptions. So that would be uh, customer verbiage on the proposal. We'll show you that in a minute. Now here's the actual description. So in here, I'm just gonna type up whatever I want to be our payment terms and conditions. This would be your like contractual lingo that maybe your lawyer has given you at some point. You can set it up with the text. You can add bullets and bolds and italics using this. You can even set the text size using this by highlighting areas and setting the text size. Format it so that it looks good. And then when you're done, hit okay. Now you've saved that term and condition and you can use it in an estimate simply by dragging and dropping it. So your first task would be to create. <clears throat> so your first task would be to create some terms and conditions that you commonly use on estimates. They would appear here. Your next task is to actually set up your default terms and conditions. So when we first make an estimate, what are the default terms and conditions that are going to show up in the footer or last pages of your estimate? We can do that up here with the Setup Defaults button. So under Setup Defaults, I have, a I have a standard estimate header and a standard estimate footer. So for construction or design build style estimates, this would be my header and this would be my footer. I don't have anything in the header now. Maybe I'd put in there something like, thank you for giving us the opportunity to quote on this work. Now that I've got that set up, once I hit save changes, every time I build a standard or construction design build style estimate, this will appear before I get into my pricing. It's the header part. Now we also have a footer and the footer is all the legalese that's going to show up after our pricing. And that may include things like payment terms and conditions, exclusions, procedures for extra work and changes, warranties and tolerances, Anything that you would have as a standard contractual description, et cetera, you can build in here. And each and every time I make a standard estimate, because these are standard headers and footers, all this verbiage, because it's in the footer, will be included after the pricing. So sort of like my terms and conditions page. Now we have the same thing for service estimates, headers, and footers. So for maintenance estimates, you're likely to have a different set of contractual terms and obligations. So here's where I would set up my grounds maintenance or whatever my service estimates were. In the winter time, I'd probably change this to my snow ones. All our terms and conditions that relate to service estimates. Now again, all your list of terms and conditions appear here, the ones you've already created in the last thing we just looked at. So if you've created something like payment terms that you simply wanna to add to the end of this, 
simply make a few spaces. Instead of typing it all out, just click the plus button. That payment terms and conditions will automatically get added to the end of your estimate there. And you're good. When you're done with setting up your defaults, scroll up to the top and hit save changes. That'll lock in your changes. And each and every estimate you make now will start from these default terms and conditions.